Hello, my name is Nathan, and you are watching the Unlocking Data in SCM channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can use logistics modeling scenarios and Tableau dashboards to help you uncover savings in your transportation network. Before I get started, most supply chain decisions are some strategic balance between cost and some measure of service. But if you don't have visibility into what those cost versus service level trade-offs are, then it can be really difficult to actually make these key decisions. Simulations like the ones shown on this dashboard can be really helpful because they quantify those costs versus service trade-offs so that you can make those key decisions with data back confidence. Transportation in particular can be low hanging fruit for logistics cost savings. And I'm gonna dive into that in a little more depth uh, in the video today. So if you take a look at the dashboard I've created here in Tableau, um, this is an inbound network for um, the US. And we have two distribution centers, one in Seattle and one in Chicago. And we have suppliers scattered across the US, um, some in the Southwest, some in the Midwest, and some in the Northeast. And over the course of the year, we have a total transportation spend of 130,000 and right now everything is being transported via parcel or LTL with different weight breaks for the LTL. In the view here at the bottom you see shipment timeline over the course of the year um, with the number of shipments and the total weight in each week over the course of the timeline. So the easiest way to reduce costs in your transportation network is to increase shipment sizes and decrease shipment frequencies. So if we take a more detailed look at the biggest lane here from Houston to Seattle, right now there is a yearly spend of 30,000 on that lane. But if we increase our holding period from daily to twice a week, so a bi-weekly holding period, then you're gonna see the transportation um, shipment sizes and weight breaks increase. This increase in weight breaks is gonna lead to reduced transportation rates, which is gonna also reduce your transportation costs. So if in the baseline, that lane was a $30,000 lane. By increasing holding periods to bi-weekly, um, you drop a couple percent to 26,000 um, per year on that lane. If you increase your holding period to weekly on that lane, then weight breaks are gonna go up again and your transportation cost is dropping to 21,000. Um, so what is that? More than 20% uh, cost reduction on that big lane by changing to a weekly holding period. So that's how much you can save on that lane. If you look at the network as a whole um, by changing all lanes to a bi-weekly holding period policy, you drop from 130,000 to 115,000. So um, about 10% drop in the network by changing to a bi-weekly holding period. And if you change all lanes to a weekly holding period, um, you drop by about 20% from 130,000 to 104,000. 
so that's an easy way uh, you can use simulation models to understand the relationships between holding period and cost so that you can see where the biggest opportunities are to uncover savings in your list in your transportation network. A word of caution, um, as you're increasing the holding period and reducing the shipment frequencies, uh, you have to be really careful that you have enough inventory in your distribution centers, so in the Seattle and Chicago distribution uh, centers in this case, to maintain satisfactory service to your to your customers, especially during demand peaks. So if you do choose to increase the holding period and reduce shipment frequencies, then um, that has to be done in tandem with uh, careful inventory analysis in to make sure that you have enough inventory to uh, maintain service since the, the shipments, the inbound bound shipments are reducing in frequency. But in summary, that's how you can use simulation models um, and connect them to a dashboard like this one uh, to uncover low-hanging cost savings in your transportation network. I'm going to include a more detailed explanation to a link in the description of this video. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions related to this or um, logistics modeling and supply chain data visualization in general, make sure to post a comment. Let me know what question you have, what you want to see, and I'll get back to you. Bye bye for now.